Dudes, what's up? Welcome to the first ever episode of the Minecraft Vanilla Guide. This is the moment, this is the series that we've all been working up to. This is the one, this is it right here. I'm super excited to get started in this series. If you are also excited, don't forget to smash, smash like and subscribe to stay up to date on this series. I thought it'd be better to do the intro here in the actual world rather than just do it in the screen where we make the game. So we're kind of a little bit forward in time here, but let's go ahead and go back to the beginning so you can see how we got to where we are. So I'm gonna talk about a little bit what this series is and what we're gonna do in this series. But first of all, I wanna get set up in this world and get it going. Let's go ahead and pop up in here. We're gonna name it Minecraft Vanilla Guide. Seems like a good name to me. We're gonna go ahead and keep it on survival. We're gonna change the difficulty to hard. Go ahead and play with these settings however you wanna do. We're not going to allow cheats at all. We're not gonna put data packs in right now. The game rules, they're interesting. These are new, definitely check those out. I'm not gonna change any of this. More world options, I'm gonna go ahead and get a random seed and keep all of this at default. And let's go ahead and create this. I'm really hoping for a good seed here. If it's not a good seed, if it's not a good world, we're gonna go ahead and go back and re-roll the dice and see if we can get a better world. But I'm really hoping that this first try here will be a good world. So I can see here we started off with the taiga biome and a forest. Let's have a quick little look around. That is really cool. To re look at that whole thing is just floating. That is super cool. What? Oh my gosh, we got so lucky. There's literally a village right there and I can go get those sheep and kill those sheep and get their wool. Wow, this seed's amazing. I I couldn't have asked for literally a better start to see, but we should stop looking around. Um, I kind of want to collect up some of these sweet berries. Uh, just that we have like an early game food source here. So let's go ahead and, and get some of these. Oh yes, they hurt so good. Oh, oh, I already got food. Look at that, it's gonna—it's really dark under here. That's gonna start spawning mobs, so it's kind of sketchy. I hear the baby villagers already. That is so cool. All right, the first thing I wanna do is go over here and get these sheep. But let's talk a little bit about this series. So this is the Minecraft Vanilla Guide. If you couldn't tell by the name of this guide, it's gonna be purely vanilla for now. Um, I'm gonna have Optifine installed, but other than that, we're gonna do a vanilla let's play. Uh, maybe later we can do data packs and, and shaders and all that kind of stuff. But for now, we're literally just gonna start off doing vanilla. And it's gonna be a let's play, but it's also going to be a combination of tutorials, talking mechanics, farms, how to do stuff in Minecraft, and just how to be an absolute chad at the game Minecraft. I don't know why I called it a chad. We could call it an absolutely gnarly dude, whatever you guys want to call it but we're gonna do some crazy crazy cool stuff in this series and i'm really excited to get into it really excited to get started off here i don't even why i don't even need to chop down this wood right here i can go get wood from the village uh to make a bed i can literally just steal one of their beds it's crazy how close we actually started next to a village that's gonna come in handy a little bit later the first thing we need to do here is punch down this wood and get the wood we do need to make some wooden tools now when you start off in a world like this the, you do need to keep in mind your health and your hunger. The health is the little hearts on the bottom left above that green bar that is advancing. And then the hunger bar is those little pig pork chop, the little pig leg things that you see on the right side over there. So the way that your food and your hunger works is that you need to fill up your food uh, to get your health back. Did I say food and hunger? I meant hunger and health. So right now you can see I'm missing one of the pork chops uh, down here, as you can see that right there. If I go ahead and eat one of these lamb chops in my, or raw mutton in my inventory right here, what that's going to do is it's going to fill up my health or fill up my hunger. And then my health is going to fill up after you do that. So I do plan on taking this world relatively slow so that I can hang out and actually have fun with this series with you guys as I'm teaching you and just hanging out. So that is the plan for the series. And right now I'm actually going to look for a bed because... It's only midday, so we do have a lot of time, but it would be nice to actually get a bed. Uh, we're gonna take these spruce logs while we're here as well, maybe even the fern. We can leave the fern. And uh, I'm, I'm sorry, sorry young, young child, child, this bed is now mine. And uh, even though we're gonna take this series slow, it does not mean that this series is made for beginners necessarily. We are gonna go over mechanics and teach about the mechanics as we go and go for farms. So beginners will be able to learn a lot, but we're also gonna be going over obscure tips and tricks and uh, pretty late game farms once we get to that point in this series. 
Right now, I'm going to actually be looking for somewhere where I actually want to post up for the night. I would ideally like to start off in the plains biome just because it would be an easy biome to start off in. So I'm just going to adventure around a little bit. I have my bed on me in case it gets super late and we have to sleep the night away. Wow, this this blocky terrain, it just really never gets old, especially the, the new game feeling that, that comes with starting a new world like this. Oh my gosh, that's already a ruined portal. Look at that. There's a lot of cool stuff around where we spawned. I do really like this spawn area. I climbed this hill just so we can get a little bit better vantage point. And I think that is the village that we just came from. Uh, there's the ruined portal right over there. I saw a bee over here. Look at this guy. And then there's a plains biome right down here. So let's go ahead and go down here and set up our little starter area. I wouldn't call it a starter base or a starter house because we're just going to be camping out in the open, at least for the uh, first few nights here. These sweet berries are a great first food source, but they take forever to eat because they only fill up one hunger at a time. So they can be a bit of a nuisance and a, and a little bit annoying to eat, but it is better than nothing. And I also want to uh, get one more. We need one more piece of wool here. <laughs> I guess we didn't really need that third wool, but just in case we needed a secondary bed. And I think this is a great place to set up camp. Look at that. Another village. Our luck in this world in this seed is absolutely phenomenal there's some lava over there some cool uh mountains right here so let's go ahead and put down our bed so if we go ahead and press e we can open up our inventory we have this nice easy little crafting interface let's go ahead and get some oak planks let's get our crafting table and put that down now let's go ahead and put this right next to our bed that's not really where i wanted it but uh that'll work for now and uh, let's turn some of this wood into planks. Now we can go ahead and do this old school where we just kind of fill this in with the tools that we need just like that. Or we can go ahead and open up the recipe book and make our, our items, our tools with the recipe book right here. So this will go ahead and show all the recipes that we have unlocked and this will show everything that we can make with what's in our inventory. So I do want to go down and get some stone tools. That's one of the first things I want to do. I don't like these wooden tools does look like a great place to go ahead and dig out some stone so let's go ahead and get right in here and get some of the stone and while i'm doing this i think this is a good place to kind of recap everything that this series is going to be about so this is 1.16.5 we're going to play vanilla survival we're on hard mode right now and the point of this series is to play along see what kind of cool stuff we can do and teach about the mechanics as we go so i'm really excited for this i hope you guys are too um i am going to reveal this seed but not until later i don't want you guys to you know tell me where everything is early game and all that kind of jazz so i'm gonna go ahead and keep the seed a secret for now i'm not trying to be all sketchy and, and sus like that but um i do want to keep it a secret so that you guys don't tell me all the, where all the good stuff is so let's go ahead and make some more tools. I'm going to go ahead and make a pickaxe uh, just like that with that formation. Then we can go ahead and get our axe for cutting down trees. And we can also get a shovel for going ahead and getting into dirt and grass and all of that. Uh, this The pickaxe is going to be for the stone. I'm not going to make a sword because the stone axe uh, actually does more damage early game. I think that it's a better option. But if I did want to make a sword, I would go ahead and go like that and make a sword. I'm going to go ahead and hold off on that for now. We're doing pretty dang good at this point, but I do want to find some iron and then start collecting up some building blocks. I think I saw a little cave over here. So we're going to go ahead and go in that cave, look for some iron, look for some coal. We're definitely going to need some, some coal so that we can make torches uh, so that we're able to see down here and so that we're kind of able to combat uh, mob spawning a little bit so if we come along here and this is our first piece of iron it's such a special moment epic gamer moment right here collect this up get some xp from this the reason we want coal is so that we can go ahead and make torches with the coal if we put this in our offhand it'll even light up the area around us uh, because we have optifine installed that is a great feature that optifine allows us to do early game i suggest that you collect all the resources you can um coal is especially important early game you're gonna be able to smelt stuff up with this cook your food to make sure that your food is doing more work for you and uh cook up the iron when we actually find the iron ore 
I really want to go deeper into this cave so this actually looks perfect. I'm really hoping to find some iron and there we go! Boys, we got some iron. No, 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 no. Oh man, this skeleton's about to slap me, dude. He's about to about to put in work right here. Oh, 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 there's two of them. Oh my gosh, this might be it. This might be it. Oh, 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 I'm dipping, I'm dipping, I'm dipping, I'm dipping. Oh my gosh, that was so sketchy. That was so sketchy. I saw my life flash before my eyes right now. Oh my gosh. Let me eat up this this mutton. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm kind of scared and uh <laughs> I don't have enough food for this, so let's go ahead and go back this way and see if there's another cave back here, and there's not. And you know what? I kind of want to get out of here. I kind of want to start a little food farm uh, back at where our our area is really quick, just so that we can start getting some more, some more food, some more berries. So we'll just plant these down here for now and let those grow up. And uh, for now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go hunting some animals so that we have some some food at least to go down in the cave and look for some iron. Okay, so we do have some raw food now. It doesn't really help that much. Uh, that does one and a half health, and this only does one. Uh, but let's go ahead and see if we can get some pretty shallow some pretty shallow iron down here. If I see another skeleton, I'm gonna dip out because those guys are really scary. So I do see. Uh, this guy right here. Let's go ahead and get some blocks in our offhand. We can easily take a zombie. No problem. You suck, dude. No one likes you. Just die. Oh, what is that? What is that? So scary. Where are those noises coming from? I don't know. Let's get this iron, though. Oh, yes. The first iron of the game, baby. This is what I'm talking about. Dude, there's tons of iron here. Look at this. There's a zombie right next to me, isn't there? Yeah, I could hear you, buddy. I can hear you, buddy. All right. Goodbye. 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 You're nothing. You're gone. You're dead. Oh, another one. Oh, how we can take you. We can take you. We can take you. Oh, yes. Go ahead and light this up a little bit just so we can stop their spawning a little bit. Oh, oh, creeper. Hello there, creeper. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, I got him. What's good? What's good? Pro, Pro gamer, gamer right here. Pro gamer. We can handle that. No problem. All right, let's go ahead and get back to this iron now. I don't want to get too greedy here. I mean, just enough for maybe a pickaxe and an axe would be good. Um, hopefully, we can get like a hat on or something too. Let's just get these three and then head out of here. As you guys can tell, these caves are very dangerous, so I don't want to spend too much time in here, and you guys shouldn't either. I don't know what happened to that skeleton that was down here. He must have just despawned or dipped out or something, but we got out of here. We got a ton of iron. We're, we're going to have enough coal so that we can actually smelt it all up, and we are in a good place now. So let's go ahead and go back to our little starter area up here. All right, so I'm gonna put my crafting table down right about here. I think another thing that we should do is probably make a furnace at this point. Let's go ahead and put our furnace down and then we can go ahead and put our coal in there. We might even need another furnace. I don't even have enough cobblestone for it. So let's just stick with this for now and let this cook up so that we can get uh, some of that iron so we can start making some better tools. Let's go to sleep too before uh, anything spawns out here. Okay, so we sleep away the night, no problem at all. We got our iron going. We got some XP from cooking up this iron as well. Oh man, I was waiting for this iron to cook up and it looks like we already got some more sweet berries from this thing. And uh, I need to make this a little bit safer to walk around. So why don't we go ahead and do that? Now, the trick here is just to put a block on top of the sweet berries. And what that does, it makes it so you don't walk into them because if you walk into them like over here, it'll start hurting you just like that. Wow, that's actually going to uh, Get rid of all my health and make me a goner there real quick but let's go ahead and harvest up these sweet berries right here it's really nice having these on top because then you literally cannot get hurt from them and uh, let's even expand this a little bit here i just thought we can get a few more sweet berries from this thing we also need to give this thing some structure so it doesn't just look like those are floating because that really does not make any sense so let's go ahead and put some ends on this thing and then we're going to put down oak fence on these sides uh, what i'm going to do over here is i'm actually going to put down some dirt just to make this landscape a little bit longer here terraform that up a little bit and then put that support beam in on that side so this is a very nice early game farm right here these sweet berries do give you a little bit of health and they grow fairly quickly so it's really gonna be nice having this little farm next to our little area here i'm gonna keep collecting up these sweet berries and we were very fortunate to find these if we did not find sweet berries at the beginning i would be hunting other animals like the sheep over there or cows or even chickens if i saw those 
or even if I saw a river, I would come in here and come in and uh, actually kill some of the fish and eat some of the fish as food. I know I've done that before. That's always an option if you guys have a river nearby, which uh, you most likely will in pretty much all biomes. You may have a river or even an ocean where you can find fish for a pretty good early food source. Also feel very comfortable being out just in the open at night, but if you can't find a bed and you don't get enough sheep to make a bed at night, what you can do is you can chop down some trees on your first night here and then make a little shelter and hide in it. Um, and then on your downtime during the night when there's mobs outside, you can just dig down and look for resources down in the ground to wait out the nighttime. I wanna do some terraforming up here because I want to expand our food farm a little bit so i do want to expand the dirt platform up here just so we have a little bit more room what i did was i took some dirt down over there and i'm placing dirt over here now the grass will spread onto the dirt as we saw right there but you can't actually pick up the grass until we have silk touch which we'll get around to that a little bit later in the game also want to go chop down some trees so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make our first iron tool which is an axe an axe and a pickaxe are probably the most valuable tools you will have especially early game uh late game you're gonna need all the tools of course but and when you chop down trees you want to make sure that you chop down all the trees if you leave logs in here the leaves will not despawn so the leaves will actually stay there if you leave like a log up in the tree so make sure that you chop down every single log when you chop down trees oh my gosh i think i hear a minecraft chicken cluck 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 these are Minecraft chickens. They drop raw chicken and feathers. So you can use the feathers to make cool stuff like arrows and stuff like that. But they're not the best food source early in the game. I would say probably cows and sheep and uh, fish are really easy to get. Now let's talk a little bit about entities or these little floating items in Minecraft. Uh, but before we talk about that, let's uh, get some sleep because it is getting very dark and I don't want any zombies to spawn. So this is called an entity. They're like the floating items in Minecraft that you can actually pick up and then get into your inventory. You have five minutes from when the entity actually becomes an entity before it despawns and you can never get it back. So if you die and you drop all of your stuff on the ground, which I will never do, you have five minutes to come back to where you were to pick that stuff up before it despawns and you can never get it back. There's some weird mechanics with uh, items and despawning like if you're not loading the chunks that doesn't count towards the time But that's all very advanced stuff. I don't want to talk about in the first episode But when you chop down all of the logs near the trees or near the leaves the leaves actually despawn like this And they turn into the entities and we can get stuff like saplings, which are these right here We can actually plant the saplings back down so that we can actually grow more trees so that the trees are renewable You also get things like sticks so you can make tools with the sticks and they'll also occasionally drop apples, which are a good food source. For some reason, I really don't like these chickens. Goodbye, chicken. Oh, and chickens randomly drop eggs just like this, so you can get the eggs. And I think the eggs have a 1 in 8 chance of becoming a chicken when you throw them like that. Let's just expand our sweet berry farm a little bit here, because I'm running through these sweet berries like nobody's business, running through my hunger. And I'm going to need more food. I do have a pretty full inventory, so I think what we should actually talk about now is making storage uh, a little bit just about making a chest so you can make a chest just like that and then you can put this down right next to the bed and then you can put away anything that you don't actually need on you at that given time in the chest just like that i'm so very excited to kick off the vanilla guide and i i kind of want to end these episodes with a this or that question so i do want to ask you guys if you are more of a talk on the phone person person or a texting person let me know down in the comments below and then maybe i'll answer what i am in the next episode but yeah you guys are definitely gonna want to subscribe to this to stay up to date and see all the awesome stuff we're gonna do all the mechanics we're gonna cover all the farms we're gonna cover if you haven't already also make sure that you leave a like thank you so much for watching this one i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye